What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Taos Biking Travel Vlog. Hope everyone is hungry today. Today we are doing a cow soy food tour. Um, kind of imitating some of the restaurants that Mark Weens has been to in his five cow soy uh, food tour playlists. I took it upon myself to make it a challenge to visit all five in one day. Just like him, I'm going to give you pricing, directions, and reviews so you can narrow down which one's right for you. I've been to three of these before, two on previous trips years ago, one quite a few times already on this trip. Not taking the most efficient order for the first half uh, just because uh, this is the times they close. This first one I'm going to closes in an hour, so a few minutes away, I gotta get there soon. Um, but yeah, let's get right to it. Let's not waste any time. Okay, so the first restaurant we're checking out is Khao Soi Kan Yai. We're a few minutes away. We're on the northern stretch of the uh, old square, old town square in Chiang Mai, by the moats, by an off-brand Best Buy. And uh, like I said, I'll have Google links for everything in the uh, info box of the video. That way, if you see something you like, you can get there yourself pretty easily. So a little bit about cow soy. It's uh, a noodle dish with um, curry and then uh, coconut milk, which is pretty unique. The coconut milk factor um, gives it kind of a thicker texture. Um, kind of balances out the spice too. Pretty nice. You can do meat or veggie if you're vegetarian or vegan. Actually, I don't know if it's vegan, don't quote me on that. Um, you know, beef, chicken, pork, different meatballs, different seafood, tofu. I'm usually a chicken or beef fan myself, so we'll be alternating between that today. So cow soy is my uh, favorite Thai food. I first had it, not knowing what it was, about five years ago, five and a half years ago, when I first came to Chiang Mai, fell in love with it. Uh, you don't really find it like in Bangkok or other places. And I'm sure a few restaurants might, but it's not really a thing. Uh, you, you very seldom find it in restaurants, like Thai restaurants in the US. And if you do, it doesn't taste just like it. Okay, so we're getting close. Like I guess I've run the uh, north wall of the old city. You're gonna see a bridge over the moat right here. And you're gonna be by probably some of the fanciest pizza huts and KFCs I've ever seen. I saw on the menu on the sign outside that Pizza Hut has a uh, Pizza with pineapple, shrimp, and corn. I can lie, that sounds kind of all right. Okay, so we cross the boat, cross the street. I'm gonna get real close to it. Doing a lot of short clips on the camera today. It is 102 degrees out Fahrenheit. So my camera's getting pretty hot, so I don't want to piss it off. So it'd be in little clips like this with cuts. But don't worry, you're not gonna miss out on the good stuff. Anyway, I think we're right about here. All right, guys, we're at stop number one. Look at that beautiful bowl of beef khao soy. Got our pickled cabbage, some chalets here, which are kind of like little onions. Um, ooh, this looks nice, very nice. Cool, so I did go with the bigger bowl, even though I am gonna be eating quite a bit of khao soy today. Um, it was an extra 10 baht. The prices range 40 to 70 baht uh, depending on uh, what meat you get and what size. This was 70 baht because I'm crazy and beef was a few baht more than plus I did the big size because I'm a little wild like that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pause for a sec, take a bite, let you know what I think. So we dug in here, I tried the broth. Um, kind of very like, it's like the type you'd have on a day when you're kind of sick home from school type of broth but with a little extra kick at the end of it for some spice. And I haven't added spice yet to it. Um, I put all the chalets in because I like to have bad breath for the day. I only put some of these in. I, I forget, it's like pickled cabbage or mustard greens or mixture. I'll Google it before the next restaurant confirm for you guys. Um, yeah, awesome bowl so far. Um, watch me enjoy. I'm gonna add a little spice to it, heads up. It's like edibles, so only take a little bit at first to see how much you can stand and then uh, add more later once you got an idea of how hot you're gonna get. Different restaurants have different spiciness levels um, with their um, chili powder, so be aware of that. All right, guys, first cow soy down. Um, so verdict on that one. It was pretty decent. 
Um, very solid flavor, what you expect out of cow soy. Not like the ultimate best one I've had though. So maybe it's the perfect one to be a starter. Price was good, location's very convenient. Odds are you end up in this neighborhood um, or walking by it at some point. So I'm gonna give that one a 3.5 out of five. I don't want you to think it's bad, it's pretty solid. Um, hell, I'd come back here, but I know we're gonna have better today. Okay, so the next one uh, is called Khao Soy Mei Mani. I've been there before back in 2019. Very, very delicious, so I'm excited to go back. Um, it's about a 16 minute drive up uh, north from the kind of moat and everything on the north side of the old town. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take a cab instead of trying to walk it. Too hot and too far today. Okay guys, so this is the meal we were excited for right here. Good to be back. Got a nice play of little chalets here. Did double check, this is pickled um, mustard greens. And then um, look at how thick the broth is and dark. The milk kind of separating. That's what I love right there. Then you gotta have a Schweppes chili sauce. Then she recommended I use this. Not sure what it is. Um, I tried using my Google Translate and I kept just coming up with different things. So uh, we'll see, Do it, mix it up a little bit. Okay guys, look at this, pretty much cleaned out the bowl. Normally I'd finish all the broth as well, but I got a lot of eating to do today, so I can't fill my stomach up too much. I did eat, however, pretty much all the solids, the noodles, the meat, of course. Um, amazing meal. I'm struggling right now from all the spice. I'll check back in with you in a second uh, when I can talk again. Ooh, all right guys, second one down. Khao Soy Mei Mani. Glad to go back there. Right off the get, five out of five. Nice. Um, still got the sniffles from the spice. I went a little extra spicy on this one. The broth is great. It's very thick, dark, and rich some of the grease from the beef and then the milk is kind of separated in there so the coconut milk kind of floats separately really good I went with the beef that was 80 baht and uh, the beef was phenomenal the best beef out of any cow soy I've had yet here definitely go to this one it's a little out of the way compared to the rest of ones but still is only about a three dollar cab so that's pretty worth it kind of walk down this residential street you might be asking yourself how I'm gonna pull off eating five bowls of cow soy in one day. I'm asking myself that too. I'm already actually kind of full after the first two, but I'm not a quitter. We're actually gonna go to our next one. I forget the name without looking at my phone. It'll be on the screen, I'll say in a second. Um, it's actually really close to my hotel. Um, I Technically, logistically, I should have gone there first, but in terms of the closing times for the other ones, um, it was the safest bet to do that third. Um, I've already been there a few times. I went there without even realizing it was one of the ones from the Mark Weems video. Then when I looked it up, I was like, oh shit, it's uh, one of the ones from there. Uh, it's really good too, really cheap, really tasty. So I'm excited to go there with you guys. Okay guys, we made it to stop number three on the Khao Soy journey. So this place is Khao Soy Mei Sai, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, this is just like a four minute walk from my hotel room. I've been here a few times already, like I was saying. Um, real good Khao Soy, I'm excited to be back. Um, you might even notice by this point I've got orange splatters all over my shirt from slurping up all the noodles. It's gonna be even more. Hey guys, bowl number three is here. A thing of beauty, look at that. Got a drumstick in there. I know these crispies are real good. Let's dig in. Okay, so this one has my favorite broth. Maybe it's like the most coconut milky. I added all my fixins in. I do my best to uh, get the meat off the chicken bone so it's a little more convenient. Now it's time to dig in for real.
Okay, bowl number three down. Um, might be my favorite one so far, honestly. I think I would categorize that one as like the uh, the Goldilocks bowl. Um, the first place I went to was kind of a real thin broth. The second one was like the extra thick and hearty, full flavor, a lot going on broth. Definitely worth trying that one because of that factor. But in terms of just grabbing one on the go real quick, um, man, that last one, 50 baht, so it was real cheap. It was thick, but not too crazy with too much stuff going on, um, but also not too thin and too boring. You can taste the coconut milk a little more, which I actually think kind of complements some of the other flavors. And uh, yeah, just right. If you do a spicy or non-spicy, I did do that one with just a little bit of chili. Just to kind of give my stomach a break since we got a long road ahead of us. Khao Soi Mei Sai. You get a five out of five stars, baby. Nice. Very good. It's uh, pretty close to the Old Town area. So definitely stop by this one. So far, this is taking the lead. Each one's been better than the last. So I am very close to my hotel room. Um, and I am ahead of schedule with time. The last two places are open later. I think I'm gonna stop my room real quick. Take a little break, get some AC. Make room for more cow soy, if you know what I'm saying. And we'll get back to it. All right, guys, just got done resting up. I uh, got some air conditioning, chugged some cold water, took a little break, got a bit of an appetite again, ready for more. So we got two bowls left. Uh, they're kind of, so my hotel room is on the northeast, I'm sorry, northwest um, side of like the old town. And then the two more that we're going to, one's kind of like southeast, one's kind of southeast, but more east. So it's quite a bit of a walk on a hot day like today. It has cooled off a bit, but um, I'm just gonna take a cab, take the time. Might walk back if it's a nice night. But um, the next one, it's got a crazy name here, I don't have it memorized, one sec, is Khao Soi Lung Rakit Lad Kum. Probably pronounced all of that incorrectly, but you know, gringo style. So I'm gonna hail another cab, and then we're gonna get over there, start chowing down again. All right, guys, I have some uh, bad news. Got over to our fourth cow soy stop. It's open for like another 25 minutes or so, but unfortunately, it looks like we're closed. Uh, Google said it was still open, so I'm not sure what the deal is. But that's okay, because we were cutting it close on time, even for our last one. So um, I think it's actually not too far of a walk to get over to the next one or a cab. Um, so we'll check that out. Hopefully that one's open for us. So sorry about that, guys. The next one better be real good. All right, everyone. We made it to our last restaurant stop for the day. Khao Soy Islam. Um, gonna make it like a Muslim style. I saw this on Mark Ween's video. It looked pretty interesting. Um, there it is. It is open. We made it in time. Let's go enjoy. Guys, our last dish of the day. Looking pretty good. I got the beef as usual, it's my good go-to. All right, so we finished our last bowl of delicious cow soy. Excuse me, I'm gonna have to take some Tums. Normally I'm not a Tums guy, but my stomach's usually pretty tough, but after enough bowls and enough chili, you gotta take a little something like that. Um, but yeah, so Khao Soy Islam, uh, very good. It was kind of different. It tasted less uh, coconut curd or coconut milky. Um, had less that signature cow soy taste. More of almost like a, like a tomato soup taste, even though I don't think there was tomatoes in it. It was like less uh, cilantro and stuff in there. Um, but yeah, pretty good. Favorite? Eh. I don't know about that today. Um, and then as a bonus, I did get a little side of uh, samosas. Those were killer. Extra crispy, freshly made, potato, onion, and chicken on the insides. Um, I don't know why I did that. 
I guess maybe as a bonus for you guys since we missed out on one of the restaurants. But I'm really full. I, uh, maybe it's a blessing that one was closed because I don't know if I could have survived five. I'm a big dude with a big appetite. I used to be a lot bigger and have a lot of a bigger appetite. Now my eyes are just bigger than my stomach these days. Whew. But yeah, so that was fun. I would say overall, let me check my notes here. So the two for sure that I recommend, I would say they're tied for first place. Khao Soi Mei Sai. That's the one that was by my hotel. That was the cheapest, kind of the Goldilocks one of just all the sweet spots of flavor. Not going too crazy. Loved it. Five out of five. Um, and then the other one I would say would be the Khao Soi Mei Mani, our second one that had that nice chunky beefy broth really good five out of five as well and then that was a little more out of the way but i'd still say it's worth it then cowsoy islam i would actually say that's my third favorite it is right by the uh it's on the halal street right next to like the Kelair night market and you know thai boxing area put that at number three i'm gonna give that four out of five pretty good cow soy, but the sides are really good and then, last but not least, I would say it actually is the first one I went to today. Khao Soi Khan Yai, if I pronounce that right. Um, pretty solid, if you're in the neighborhood, stop by, go, you'll enjoy it. Just the other ones were just really awesome. Uh, the one that was closed, like I said, I did go to that one a few years ago and it was really good. I'm still gonna link it in the info thing down below. Um, can't give a rating on it, just cause who knows how it's changed over the years, but I'd still recommend it if you walk by and it's open. But yeah, hopefully that helped you narrow down what cow soy you should get. Get more than one. Honestly, try two of these. Pick the two that got you the most excited. Don't do what I did and did uh, do four in one day. You might regret that. Unless you're a YouTuber trying to make a cool video as well, then go for it. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. Ready for a food coma. I'm gonna walk back just to burn off some calories, digest the food, stop at 7-Eleven, get a fizzy drink and maybe something cold take a swim and edit this video. We have more shenanigans on the way. I'm gonna be in Chiang Mai uh, three more days. Then I have about another five, six days left in Thailand. There'll be a new area that I've never been to before. So stick around for that. That'll be a fun surprise. And lastly, just want to uh, thank everyone who's been showing up, the new subscribers. As of filming this, I'm at 71 subscribers. So that's actually pretty exciting. Doesn't sound like much, but your first hundred online is the hardest to get. So I appreciate all you guys for hanging out, tuning in, uh, you know, supporting and saying hi in the comments and all that. That's really cool. Hopefully you're getting some enjoyment out of these videos. You know, there are try to get better at blogging and editing and stuff like that. Just so a little more entertaining use of your time. But yeah, guys, love y'all. I still don't know how to end a video, so. I guess I should probably just do one of these.